Hi everyone, welcome back to the series. So today, we're going to cover some C code. Uh, so Zig is actually a, basically a C compiler. It can compile C and C++ code innately, and I'm going to show you this. You can also translate code into Zig, which is not exactly working as well as it uh, probably will in the future, because it does generate a lot of code and it doesn't actually run, but we can show you these features. So as here, I have uh, just a C file, which is hello world. Let's open that up uh, here. So just print, just print F, hello world. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run here, PowerShell. I changed the color of the PowerShell because I didn't like the blue. If you want to change the color of the PowerShell, you just go to properties and here, colors. And it's the de default was blue. I didn't like that. So just black. All right. So if you just type in zig, so zig, it gives you all the commands. So what we what we're going to do here is CC. So use Zig as a drop in C compiler. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go Zig, CC, and the file name is of course hello world dot C. I'm going to type in hello world dot C. Now you need to do something else. If you just press enter now, it will basically create an exe called a dot exe. You want to go dash O. Let me make this uh, wider so you actually see what I'm writing. So you go dash O. So zig cc hello world dot C dash O hello world dot exe. So I'm naming the exe and I'm going to press enter. And it's already done. And I'm going to run the file by going dot backspace backslash hello world. .exe. There we go, it runs, so it can run and compile C code, right? Here I have another folder, which I'll have to open it in the PowerShell in this window. Uh, so I was trying to convert it to Zig. I'll just call, I'll just delete these for now. Uh, it wasn't very successful. Wait, hold Shift, PowerShell. Okay, so we have Zig find Power C, which basically, if I show the code. Uh, not this one. That was the zig one, right? So I'm basically just finding the power of a number. So say if I put in, so enter base will be like two, and then to the power of four. So two to the power of four, and I want to print the result, and it uses this while loop to do it. Um, that's basically all this is doing. It's just put two numbers in, and then do the to the power. So two to the power of two is you know, is four. Um, so. We do zig cc find power dot c minus o find power dot exe and that creates the exe dot backslash find power dot exe. Let's say two to the power of two. Uh, so this can run C code basically. What you can do. I wouldn't recommend it at the moment. Let's go zig, and here we have translate C, right? Uh, the problem with the translate C, I tried this before, and it didn't really give me that good results. So we're going to go zig, translate C, uh, find power dot C. The problem with this, you need library, you need libc, so you need library C, so you need to go dash LC, otherwise this won't work. And then we need to specify, I think you do arrow, find power dot zig. I think this is what you type in. So here I'm just specifying, I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm writing. So I'm typing in, so zig translate c find power dot c dash lc to import library c and then we set the destination and then we run that. Okay, it's done. The problem is I look at the result and it's like, what is this? What 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 am I looking at here? I mean, there is a main function. We look at main c int. Uh, I was just like, what what is this? So what in theory, what I could do? Because it basically just spams you with a load of stuff. Let's do this, and let's take away public export function, and then let's save this as find power dot zig. Save it. 
like this. All right, we're going a lot of uh, <laughs> removing a lot of things. All right, I can't actually read. Why are we not using base? This won't actually run if we remove base. Why would you do this? I don't understand that. We don't want to remove that either. I don't understand this at all. Maybe I'll leave it the way it is. Maybe it will run. I don't know. But it seems a bit weird what we're doing here. And then print F, print F, okay. And then I hate this on that line. I'll turn this into into C so I can actually close stuff. Uh, all right, float from int base. Right, okay. Kind of weird this code, but okay, we'll see if this, if this actually works. I don't know if we have to import something. If we have to import like, because we might need to use printf. If not, we'll find out how to use printf. We'll probably get an error because I'm not using uh, Okay, printf. We don't know what printf is, so we need to find a way of importing it. I'm just going to look up how to do that because I don't remember. Okay, we can do this. All right, so in the standard library, we got this. GitHub Zlang Z issues. I don't know what this is. Why do I need that? I don't know. Uh, so we've got stdio.h, which allows me to use printf. Uh, then, okay, we'll put this on the next line. I hate it on the same line. Um, and then we need to put, instead of here, we have, so we're using c equals all these c defines. Uh, so we're going to, instead, when we do printf, we're going to go c dot. I think scanf is also part of that. So c dot, c dot. Every time we printf, c dot printf. And then c dot, and then see if this runs. They return type of wait what? Compile error. There's no return type. So c int. What do you mean? Expect the type of if void is. Okay, I'll just make this a void then, and not care. Make this a void and not care. And C import failed. Libc head of oh I'm not using header file, wait, libc. There we go, it works. Okay, three and four. And then it works. Okay. So this basically so I mean the the one the problem is it like what is all this? Like, do I really need to import all of this? Like it's like it's literally imported all of SDIO.h. But of course, Zig isn't isn't in 1.0 yet. This is probably just a, an earlier f uh, representation of this. But you can, in theory, just copy this, and then translate it over, and then just you have to import sdo.oh like this. So when you use C code, you have to make sure that you do minus the LC. You need to include the, the standard uh, C library, otherwise this won't work. So you got to go Zig run the name minus lc otherwise this won't work i'm just going to analyze this code so there are um in the uh there are some c primitives or c types so here are all these c primitives we have so these are basically the equivalent of what so c char c short so as we are u8 u16 or i16 u16 i32 u32 uh i64 u64 um I'm not sure. I think an uh, long double in F64. So we have these types, basically. So C int will be an I32, or the equivalent of it. Uh, I'm not sure why. I guess printf actually returns something, so we want to remove the return value. I guess that's why that's that's happening. I'm not sure why we're doing this. So we're... we're is it a pointer? We're removing a... I'm just going to... What happens if I do this? Will this still run? Let's have a look. Because I'm just wondering, why is it doing that? I don't know then. It seems like we're doing that for no reason. So I could, in theory, just remove this. And what happens if I do that? Do I need to do any of this? Because I feel like I don't need to do any of this. Apparently you do get an error if you do that. I guess because it could return an error, I don't know. But if it returns an error, I don't think you can discard it. So I... Where are we? Did this run? It did run. I can never tell with this because it goes up. Like, what are you going up for? It's just annoying. It goes up and it's, oh, it's an error. No, it's not an error. That's an error from before. 
Does it work? So basically, like, those ignores were useless. I don't... We don't need these. Uh, then we're removing printf. I think we do need to do that. Um, so maybe I'll make a video later of imp importing, like, a uh, popular C library. I'm not sure exactly how you do this, but you can use Zig as basically a C converter uh, or a C compiler. And you can also use C, co C code in your projects, which I'll probably show another video later of how to import a C function. But you can compile C and you can almost convert it one to one. Uh, but it's not exactly working as I think it's intended at the moment because it doesn't just give you a main function. It gives you like the whole of SDI SDIO.h. But it's still a very cool feature. It's probably the easiest thing because trying to set up GCC on a Windows machine is actually really annoying. So just installing Zig and using it as a C compiler is just really simple. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys next time.